One. Wait, I should probably play some Sims music, huh? Wait. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. We're gonna play some Sims 3 today. Um, because, sorry, I forgot I have my phone out of my phone case. <laughs> I just realized that I should probably do that. Uh, anyway, we're gonna play some Sims 3 today. We're gonna try and like, I don't know. Let me show you. I, I feel like I, I want to renovate the house because obviously it's not fully furnished. Like we didn't have enough money. Now we have enough money. But I don't know if I want to like redo it or just try and fix it. Like I'm, I'm not really sure if I'm going to like build it again or like, so I don't know. We, we probably should chat about that if we want to like build it from scratch again or if we want to update it. Because part of me wants to build it from scratch again so that I can have a garage. But I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like this should be our chance to just use all the things that we can't use in the game. Can you look at the lot value in this game? Um, yeah, it tells me it's furnished worth 48,000. Unfurnished worth 29,000. Let's build from scratch, really? Okay. Realizing I changed the outro music? Wait, on my YouTube videos? Yeah, that- I think it's probably been like over a year. <laughs> or maybe longer. <laughs> we did it because it got- the one that I was using before got copyright claimed. It only got claimed once. Thank god they didn't like claim all my other videos, so it might have been like a false claim, but I got scared, so I started using something else. So... I don't know. Yeah, Louie, you can watch my VOD from yesterday while I'm still live. If you go onto my Twitch channel and you press the like videos tab, um, it should let you watch yesterday's stream. Uh, while I am live. It's weird because it like it like pushes you to the live content. I think because it assumes you want to watch the live content, but I understand you prefer Sims Four, <laughs> but I think most people do. So, hi uh, Justice and Strawberry and Freckles and Bubbles and Diana and Sarah and Me Griff and Fake and Allie and Trashy and Danny and and uh, Garb and Laya and Alessandra and Melanie and Rachel and Gummy Bear. Thank you all for the subs. When did I stream Animal Crossing? Ah, uh, we played Animal Crossing like last week, didn't we? I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I'm not gonna stream Animal Crossing this week because I'm gonna play Dreamlight Valley tomorrow. There's been a Dreamlight Valley update, so we got big stuff to do. Lots going on. <laughs> You're for bulldozing? Okay. I feel like we probably should look up like a, a reference photo. We can do a garage, which is kind of fun, because normally we can't do that in The Sims. So what we're used to doing, we can't, we, we, you know, we can do whatever now. So I do have a car. It's not a very nice one, but it is a car. So <laughs> um, anyway, I'm, I think we can redo it. I think we can do it from scratch. I might try and save a few things, though, if we're going to do it from scratch, because like, for example, I like the color of these cabinets. So I don't really want to try and get them again. <laughs> Obviously, I also have like some photos and stuff. Um, I don't know. Maybe I could go in and like save some of the wallpaper too that I've gotten colors for because it'll just be easier that way. Like I like this one. What else did I like? Oh my god, it's gonna be such a nightmare. <laughs> Are you guys sure we want to do this? Yeah, I want to do this. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Let's just kill it all, shall we? <sighs> okay. Oh, do you know what one nice thing is? It's raining, but it's not raining in build mode. We don't have that luxury in The Sims 4. Okay. <laughs> Clara, Fran, Mar, and Elle, and Maddie, and Justice, and Olivia, and Ellie, and, and, and uh, Angel, thank you for the subs and stuff. Oh my goodness. Sometimes I, I... I don't know, besties. I'm not sure about this. Oh, I want to save that. That's my gem cutter. Is there anything else that we might want to keep? I guess I could keep the appliances, because they're kind of expensive, so it might be smart to keep them. Same thing with, like, the, t the computer and the TV. Right? But the rest of it we could just redo. I'm not, like, super attached to anything else. It was more just like, uh... Can I duplicate these when I'm in- oh my god. Oh my god, build mode is so laggy. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, I'm going to save that for myself, too. Yeah, Shella, I have the um, the Sims 3 smooth patch. You can do it. You can play Sims 3 without it, but, um, you know, Sims 3 is an interesting one. Even with it, it still doesn't run that good, so. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's kind of the problem here. It's, uh, no matter what a problem. No, the ceiling lights aren't CC. The ceiling lights are actually debug. So they're not custom content. Oh, I might save these windows too, because I liked those. Okay. And then we can kill everything else, shall we? Uh, I think we shall. Oh, I wanted to save the door too. I thought I would reuse that as well. Oh my god. I'm not sure this is a good idea. Yeah, we got a bunch of money from the crystal last time. There's these, in The Sims 3, um, there's the, okay, this is gonna sound really bizarre, all right, but <laughs> in The Sims 3, there's these, like, um, crystals that can, oh, god. There's these, like, gems that you can find, right? You can send your dog out hunting for them for you, and one of them is called, uh, Tiberium. If you leave it in your house to, like, let it sit for a while, oh, that's Bone Hilda. If you leave it in your house to let it sit for a while, it'll grow, and it'll go from like 7,000 simoleons to like 40,000 simoleons. So, um, that's how I got a bunch of money. <laughs> and now I'm gonna build a new house. <laughs> it's not for a new gen, it's just, um, I, I want like some upgrades in the house, you know? We don't have a new sim or anything, I just, I feel a desire to upgrade the home. And so I will. Okay, I can't pick that up because it's in use by Bone Hilda. It's <sighs> ridiculous. I'm I could move objects the Sims out, but I'm kind of leaning towards maybe moving them. Like for oh wait, oh it's my scouts thing. Yeah, I want to keep that. We don't have a lot of family heirlooms yet. I don't have a lot of money in general or a lot of Sims, so. Don't need to worry about that too much. Okay, I'm gonna move the Sims out on their own. Everyone, we're gonna come stand in the rain, okay? Come here. That's one. Oh, you're working out. You come here, you come here. You come here, you come here. I don't even know if this one can, but. Oh my God, can you not? Oh, grow up. Okay. Pick, how, pick up Jacob, okay. Here we go, I'll get it. Hold on, hold on. You would have them order ice cream? Oh, it's a way to like get them outside. That's not a bad idea. Okay. Pick him up, go over there. How do I make Bone Hilda stop? Dismiss Bone Hilda. Okay, well. Can I just like put that outside then? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bone Hilda, can you get back in your little house, please? I would like to um, get rid of you. Is it just me? Is your scream really laggy? Oh, the game is laggy. Is she going back into her house? Oh, she is. Okay. Perfect. It's not just you, the game is laggy. But um, it's just gonna be like that because it's The Sims 3, so. We'll deal with it. It'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fun. <laughs> T-Duck and Steph and Lolly and Red Wolf and Le Uno and Jen and Hoppy and Clarindo and Evie and Mackenzie and Abs. Thank you for the subs. Oh my god, sorry. I just remember something I gotta tell you guys about. <sighs> Object in use by Ivy Swan. Liar. It is not. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, the thing that I wanted to tell you about, I got to announce it today. I got invited to be a featured creator at VidCon. <laughs> so exciting. I This is like a, a childhood dream come true. I'm not gonna lie. That to me is so cool. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna be a VidCon this year because they invited me to be a feature creator. I don't know how many of you are planning on going to VidCon, but if you are, I will be there. It's in June, um, and I'm quite excited about it. How do I make this stop? 
Ivy Swan is not using the staircase. So you're lying. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I might need to reset her. Hold on. Reset Sim Ivy Swan. Okay, well now you're in the way, so that's even more annoying. Here. Come over here. Crawl. What do you mean call babysitter? We're right here! Oh my god, this is unbearable. Okay. Sorry, as soon as I finish this- What are you, what are you doing?! <laughs> oh my god! I guess they left the lot, technically. But I promise it's not in use by Ivy Swan, because Ivy Swan's not there! Try resetting the lot? Oh, how do I do that? Testing cheats enabled true. Um... Um... Reset lot. Oh my god, now they're all there! Oh. <laughs> okay. Well. You people can just stand there. I don't care. That's fine. You stay there. Stay exactly where you are. Oh my god, today's gonna be a lot. Sorry, I know I'm not even like talking about anything, or I've mentioned VidCon and then stopped talking about it. I'm just- ah! <laughs> It's going great. Things are going great. <laughs> Fiona, Golden, Macy, Mochi, and FK, and Kels, and Soldier, thank you for the subs. Wow. Yeah, I know you can pick up Sims with move objects in The Sims 3, Jay, but I'm trying to avoid using much move objects in The Sims 3, because I'm trying to minimize, um, how many problems I cause. But in The Sims 3, I'm well aware, trust me, if you've got move objects on, you can like pick up a sim and drag them away. So, not a joke. I'll probably end up doing it. I'm avoiding it right now though. <laughs> anyway, so you know how we just spent all that to do that? In The Sims 4, there's a bulldoze button. Isn't that neat? Yeah. <laughs> okay, what are we gonna build? <laughs> Because <laughs> now I don't have a house. Here, you know what I'll do? How about this? Let's save as... Oh. Okay, I'm out of characters. <laughs> I'm not gonna call it that. Um... <laughs> yeah, I know I can pull those from map view in The Sims 3 Golden Circus, but I think you fail to understand why would I want to go up into map view and do that. That seems like a nightmare. <laughs> This is easier than all the loading and waiting and loading and waiting and loading and waiting and loading and waiting. This is fine. This is fine. Um, okay. I don't know. Suburban house. I googled. Let's see what we got. Okay. That one's in Minecraft. <laughs> I'll just wing it. It's fine. We don't need a picture. We can just- we can just use our brains. All right. Um, is there a reason I don't have any money visible? Okay, need a second to load in. We're fine. We're fine. Alona and Cameron and Yvonne, thank you for the subs, everybody. I really appreciate that. Oh my goodness. Okay. So, oh, we need to think about this also. Okay, so currently, we have the parents. That's one bedroom. Um, I had twins. Those two. They're teens. I might make them share a room. I might not. Maybe, maybe three bedrooms. Right now, these two, Allie, or Alice and Nessie, share a room. And then Jacob. So we could try to go for like five bedrooms, maybe. That might be good. Um, and we'll see how it goes. Which is better, Sims 3 or Sims 4? A friend, I love The Sims 3. I have so many fond memories of playing The Sims 3. The Sims 3 was my first Sims game. Um, I really, uh, it, it holds a special place in my heart, but my god, does this game not run that well nowadays. Um, so, <laughs> um, you know, 
That that part makes it a little hard to play. <laughs> They're also really different. The um, the two games are quite different. So okay, is this still gonna be a nightmare? Maybe. Hard to say. We'll find out. All right. Let's make a little. I'm gonna start with a with a garage, honestly. Because I am embracing what we do not have in The Sims 4. And I'm giving myself a garage. Very exciting. <laughs> Do you guys see that? <laughs> really fun stuff. Okay. And then, I don't know how big it should be. I guess we need to put the thingy down so I can find out. Um... So, where is it? This little item is how you place cars down in this game. So I will put that in the garage. Will I add any foundation? No, I'm not going to this time. Uh, I did last time, but I won't this time, I think, because I, I would prefer to not have to do like constrained floor elevation type of cheats. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do it foundationless, I've decided, <laughs> so that way we can have it all on one level. <laughs> all on one level and life will be good, you know? Um, that's kind of my thought process, at least. Um, so I'll have the garage over there. I don't know where I'll put the front door. Maybe I'll put it in there. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, in The Sims 3, for those of you that maybe didn't know, um, you can't go back. So you know how in The Sims 4, you can just like add a foundation? I could be like, oh, I kind of want a foundation now. And then you can just raise the house up. Not here. Not here. <laughs> if you want a foundation, you have to decide that first. <laughs> and then you can have a foundation. Unfortunately, you can't... Um, Oh my god, it's so laggy. Unfortunately, you can't, like, add one later. It's realistic. I, I mean, yeah, it's realistic, I guess, in that way. Um, but it's also kind of um, annoying. <laughs> Frank and Brooke and Brittany and Kev, thank you for the subs, by the way. Okay, let's get a nice door, too. Maybe a ranch? Like, all one story? I think that, um... I think that, unfortunately, I might need more space than that. Because I want to have, like, five bedrooms. I don't know if I'll be able to manage with just a ranch house. We might need to try and, um... Do something a little bit bigger. Oh, so many of these doors, like, take me back. I'm gonna use this as a back door. I love that door. This is my favorite door, though. <laughs> Okay, um... Should I, like... Maybe should I... No. Hold on. <sighs> Guys, this is gonna take me a while. I just wanna- I just wanna warn you, okay? I'm gonna try to be fast, but I won't be, okay? <laughs> I'll try, but it won't work. So... Okay. The front door is gonna go over here. That's gonna be really good. And we're gonna have some really pretty windows. Like this. Okay. This takes up like the whole lot. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Dolby and Frankie and Brooke, thank you for the subs. Imagine 10 minute building in The Sims 3. God, could you imagine? If we tried to do it like a 10 minute build challenge in The Sims 3, we, I mean, we'd be here all day. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if we could finish it. <laughs> At least maybe not in a reasonable amount of time. Um, you would spend like half of it would be the game lagging. You know? That would be a lot, probably. Okay. I think I can probably fit 
enough bedrooms in here. Half of the challenge is just us screaming because it's like lagging so much and we, we can't do anything. <laughs> okay, um... So... How am I gonna do the roof on this? Would it be like this? Probably. I think I want this to be like, um, I don't know. We are building an Appaloosa Plains, yeah. Uh, I am indeed in Appaloosa Plains right now. So, okay. I think that if we did it like this, and then if maybe I got some more walls. Maybe I'll make it smaller again. Oh. Oh, it was small. Okay. Okay. This is a lot. Yeah, you can you can kind of drag the walls farbs, but it's it's not like that smart at it. So like you can't really drag the walls. You can kind of do it when it's a room. Um but not not like completely, <laughs> you know, not really in the um, the way that it's so smooth and easy in The Sims 4, you know? Um, this, yeah, that's kind of a trend uh, in The Sims 3, it's, it's not that smart. So, okay, do we like that? Eh, not really, but you know. That's probably fine. That's probably fine. Okay. That's a reasonable amount of space too. Um, roof building seems way more annoying. Do you know, I kind of think that it is. I, I would agree on that. Um, okay. Oh, that's weird. I also used to always like delete the, um... oh, look at that. Didn't place it there. We'll have to put some stuff. Is that wall in the front our palette? Kinda, those are just a couple wallpapers that I liked from the old house. I'm not gonna use them everywhere, but I liked them in the old house. What's that? What is that? I liked them in the old house, so I'll probably use them again here. Come here. Doesn't that look weird? What's happening? Okay, I think that's fine. Um, okay. I think... I think... How do I want to go about this? Why was it tan? I don't know. It's being weird and it's lagging. I'm gonna save. Ah, <laughs> Diva Rio, thank you for the subs. Do you know what, everybody? We're gonna be in this together all, all day. We're gonna be really struggling. So, can I try switching the middle window with a door? No, because you can't place a two wide door on three tiles. Is Sims 3 always this laggy? Oh yeah. In fact, sometimes worse. I've got a really good PC and a mod to make it less laggy. And here we are. Okay. Look, it's not gonna be beautiful. Do I like this that much? No. Are we gonna use it like this? Yes. Can't intersect my windows, okay. I'm gonna see if I can make this look how I want it to. Oh. What does it think it's intersecting? The door? Really? Okay. I'll have to use move objects. What? It was the light. 
It was intersecting the light. Everyone. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be in for a long day. How do you feel about that? Is that okay? I don't know. I just want a garage and I almost wish that I had left my house how I had it before. Okay. Um... Ooh, we could put like a little bra- mm. Maybe not. <laughs> I was like, oh, we could put like a little gravel driveway. I was gonna try and use tile, but... Mm. Oh, this could work. This might be okay. We can do some pretty pathways like that. Terrain paint? We can do terrain paint too, but I find it easier to just use tiles, you know? Oh god. There's so many things that I've like kind of forgotten we have, you know? Oh, those are okay. It's a little expensive, but it happens. We could do like a nice brick path if we wanted to. Because you could change the color to be anything. So, like, whatever shade of brick we like, we can make it. You know? I want a reddish brick, but oh, that's better. That's better. Okay. Okay. I don't know, we'll come back to that, besties, we'll come back to that. This is gonna be a long day. <laughs> yeah, you can use plain flooring too and change the pattern on it, because it's, um... We've got all the creative style stuff, but... Oh my god. Oh my god, I regret this already, I'm serious. So much regret. Oh, forgot, can't save in build mode. <laughs> Stitch and Coco and Apricity, thank you for the subs. Oh my. You know, I thought about recording this and maybe making a YouTube video, but I've been recording for 12 minutes and I've already had to pause um, and like save and go back, save and go back like three times. Oh no. Okay. Okay. How should we do the back of this? That is the question. I think I want to put, like... I'd like to use that door. I really liked this one. I'd like to use that as, like, a cute little back door. But it's a bit small. The house at least or the amount of space I don't know that'll be fine and then we could do like a back porch how about that yeah that seems like a good choice we have to keep things very simple as we're building here on this day because it's the only way that we're gonna manage to succeed at this <laughs> is snappy in the room in here no I think she's downstairs right now um, Oh my god, what are you doing? Why is it doing that? Is it like a visual glitch? That's weird. Did you see that? It's like, I tried to paint this black and put like black in the empty space, but then when I hover over it, it's like turning, I don't know. I fixed it, so. Let's just say it's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yikes. Um, should we do a cute fence? Should we use this one? I always thought this was like so fancy when I was younger. This is like a little picket fence though. 
Let's do the fancy one. I'll make it probably white. Yeah, that's fine. Fancy, more like fancy, get it? <laughs> Um, how wide should I? And I should fill in my whole lot, right? Like I should allow my- you can build things up to the edge in this. So I should like- I should do it, right? Um, how about we do three? Three, three. Oh. Well, what if we... I don't know. I don't really like how it looks, to be honest. It was nice. Back in the day, you could place, like, where you want the fence pillars to go yourself. Isn't that nice? And it's on the edge of the lot as well. Okay. Um, how about you go for... For... Four. No. Well, that's nice and even. Maybe I could use the white picket fence? You want me to switch it again? I mean, I could, but... I don't really want to go back and change it again. <laughs> I don't really want to have to go back and do anything different. <laughs> I want to just keep it how it is, because I don't want to have to... Look, there's only so much I can take of this right now. I think it's a nice fence for the yard. I think I need to redo this also. Weirdly. Maybe I'll do it once I do the floor plan. Okay, so let's think about this. I would very much like to use a spiral staircase, because we have them. We also have some cool, like, L-shaped stairs. But that's not really, like new to us. You know, we can do that in The Sims 4. Um, so... Maybe I should put a bathroom here in the front. And then perhaps the spiral staircase could be like... Do you think I can use this here? Like, do you think that The Sims would be smart enough if I use move objects to use this door? Oh my god, what are you doing? Rotate. Probably not, huh? Yeah. They're not very smart. Um... I don't really even like how it looks, to be honest. <laughs> like, I don't really... All right, I was trying to avoid having to do this. It's happening. Out. 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 Okay. Everyone out. Very nice. Okay. Ceiling is too low. Do I have to like delete the upstairs? What cheat? What to move them? You can just move them with move objects in The Sims 3. You can't do that in The Sims 4 obviously, but you could in The Sims 3. Um, and so I did. I don't know. I'm feeling like, potentially, I don't know, I think I'm feeling like I would rather have, like, a plain, how many bedrooms am I gonna put in here? That's a big bedroom. Um, 
I don't know how to do the staircase like this. I want to use it, but I don't... I, like, feel like I'm struggling so much with how it looks. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yikes. Okay, spiral's better. Spiral is better. Um... Why delete the last house when this one looks so similar? Okay, Iris, that's rude. There's only so much that we can handle right now. <laughs> I'd love to see you try. <laughs> it's a similar shape, sure, but I haven't done anything to it yet. It's gonna be a lot bigger. Okay. Um. Okay. Hi, Steve. <laughs> Thanks for the 13 months. And Huffle and Laura, thank you for the subs, too. Um, I could probably get away with... Um... Let's think about this for a sec. Right? Like... It's a very large hallway. And there's... I just... I don't... I don't know. That's two bathrooms. Three bathrooms. And this is four bedrooms. I said I wanted, like... Can I move this? Ceiling is too low. What are you talking about? <sighs> okay. I am can't be placed through a wall. There's not like wall heights in this game. Why does it work there but not over here? You know? the ceiling of the actual house. Maybe I need to like, delete. Was, I don't think the roof should be causing me any problems. There's not, there shouldn't be a roof in the way there. Have to make the ground flat? The ground is flat. I'm doing like the most basic build. There's no, Why is there no grid in this room? Hold on. I'm doing like the most basic, like... Why? Why is there no grid there? On the roof. I do not understand this game at all. Okay, well that fixed it for whatever reason. I don't understand it, but okay. Um, I'll put it like that. <sighs> okay, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. Uh, maybe this could be the ensuite bathroom. And we'll have like a lovely hall bath. Oh my god. I can't put these doors next to each other. That's amazing. Okay. Those are a couple small bedrooms. Um, I guess I hadn't really considered the fact that I would need door over here 
that they can access because they're not smart enough to get to it if it's like that. And I want to use the two wide doors. Without the grid, the game thought that was the roof already. I don't know, Strawberry, because there was no grid over here either. So, I don't know. Who knows? Whatever. Should I do it like that? We have two big bedrooms, three small bedrooms, bathroom. What if I rotated the stairs? Well, again? That's not gonna fix the problem of them being able to access it. This should work. They should be able to access this over here. Maybe I'll give them like a little extra bit. I don't really like the stairs that are round like this. I feel like I don't like how they look. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? There's, I feel like it's, um, I think I used this one before. Is that right? Yeah. What if we do the L ones? They're so big though. I don't know if it'll work with how I've got the floor plan. Cause they're so enormous. I want to use them too, but like they're so big. So I don't know if we can. We could use the like pole that you can slide down. <laughs> 10. JTO and Quag, thank you for the subs. And Callie, thank you for the gift of subs. And A-Side, Steve, and Humble Puffin, and Laura, and Mindy, thank you for the subs too. Are there like square spiral stairs? No, it's either those or the straight ones. Who knows? Maybe I could do like... Okay. Maybe this can be the office that I so desperately want. And we could... Oops. And we could put, like, a wall here to act like a hallway into the garage and the office. Oh my god. Okay, that would be nice. And you can also access the bathroom from this little hallway. Yeah. Maybe I could make it bigger. Maybe I'll give myself like some extra space in the garage. I don't know. It's just a hallway. Okay. What are the squares? These are debug lights. So they're brighter than a lot of the lights that are by default in the game and they're uh, free. So, but no windows in the living room. Well, friend, I haven't finished placing windows over here yet. What do you mean? I'm not done. There's gonna be windows like along these walls and stuff. Um, and over here too. We could even do like some big picture windows or something. One step at a time. We're not done. I hate the staircase. <laughs> I wanted to use it because I thought it would be fun to have a spiral staircase, but my god, I don't even like it. Oh no. My son Tucker, thank you for the subs. Change it? Yeah, but it's small. And I like how it's small, because it doesn't take up that much space. You know? Um, can I shrink this garage? Well, I bet I could if I use move objects. I'm gonna try. Cause I wanna have a little bit more space. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. There, we can have a window on the side. Isn't that what you wanted? Oh my goodness. So, so far this is a one, two, three bathroom house with three, four, five bedrooms and an office. Okay. Now, what is all the rest of this space? <laughs> um, how are we gonna split this up? 
you know? Maybe one big bathroom? Oh, it's nice to have more than one bathroom because we got like six kids. So we want to have a lot of bathrooms. I'm wondering if maybe this part should be the kitchen. Like along these walls. And then this could be a living room. This could be a dining room. That might be kind of an easy way to split this up. Hold on. Although these do kind of clip weird with it. <laughs> I don't know. Do I want to put the stove there? In front of the window? I don't know. I think it might help to have a wall behind the stairs so they're like less in the kitchen, but I don't really, I don't know. I don't know. This is gonna be so open. You have a Sims 3 Legacy? Yeah, we started playing it like a month ago. I'm trying to build a new house, but you know. There's a lot. I'm not gonna play The Sims 4 today, Jaden. Not today, friend. We play The Sims 4 pretty much every day. So um, today we're doing something kind of special. We're playing some Sims 3. If I do all the windows like this, I can't have cabinets. Can't do that? What does that mean? Oh my. Okay. Copy. Can't do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> oh my god. I actually don't want cabinets anymore. I don't know why I thought I wanted cabinets. <laughs> why would I want cabinets? Who needs them? Whatever. I guess the alternative is that maybe we could do like the kitchen over here, not like in front of all these windows, you know, it would probably look a little bit nicer. And then we could do like the dining room, just open dining table, like next to it here in this space. And then this could be the living room. Potentially. This was kind of the original thought that I had, but I was worried that um, there wasn't going to be enough space. But they might be fine. So maybe I should go back to my original plans. What should this be then? I don't know. I don't know. Not my problem. Study? That's what this is going to be. We could put the dining table there, but the problem is I think it'll be a little bit tight and Sims aren't very smart, so. See, like if we had the chairs around it, this is the Sims 3, you know? So like, are they smart enough to figure that out? That's why I was gonna put the dining table just sort of like in the middle, you know? Cause then there's like more guaranteed walking space around it. But I guess we could do some sort of island. Oh my, they snap so weird in The Sims 3. I don't know how many of you have seen this, but... A lot of weird snapping happens in this game. Should I just do it like that? Oh, drag, okay. Maybe I'll just copy it instead of Trying to change that one too. Playroom for the kids? That's an idea. We only have one kid who's a toddler. Oh, I didn't copy it. I only have one kid who's a toddler left. The other ones are all teens now. So, and we already have like the office and the garage. So we don't really need like a hobby space. I don't know. I don't know, we'll figure it out. 
Um, we also, this is the thing, right? It's not like we're building this with the intention of like, what, uploading it to the gallery? No. What gallery? <laughs> so, um, it doesn't really matter what we, what we do, you know, if we don't finish it today and we want to like leave the room empty and then like, you know, furnish it as we get more money or whatever, those are all possibilities. Like we don't, there's no pressure to finish it today, right? Like we're actually going to play in this house, so we can take our time and like add and change things as we need them. Okay. That is all right. That is all right. Okay, I like how it's very central in the house too. That seems really nice. Okay, we can get a nice sink. Um, and then, should I try to like, I don't know. I don't like it like that, so maybe not. Maybe not. No, don't mess with it. Don't mess with it. Is the gallery not a thing in The Sims 3? No, the gallery that came to The Sims 4 was like a life-changing thing. Um, in The Sims 3, we had this thing called the exchange um, that you could upload files to, but you can think of it as more being like how you can save like your tray files and stuff in The Sims 4. Um, you can think of the exchange as more being like that. Like the exchange wasn't really like the gallery where there's like an easy integrated into the game thing. Like the exchange is kind of painful um, to use. And you know how the gallery seems painful sometimes? Yeah. So imagine something worse than that, but like way worse. Yeah. <laughs> um, it was a lot, it was a lot. The exchange was a lot, so. Yeah, and like a terrible search system and stuff, so it was rough. Um, let's see if we can get like a pretty, well, that seems nice. I'm gonna use that. Just in that color too. Lovely blue suburban on its way. Um, okay, let's think about what we want to do. Ooh, that's like not what I want. What sort of dining table? I think we had this one before. Maybe I'll use that again. Cat cam, please. Oh, there's no cat in here right now. I even turned around and looked. <laughs> the cat's not hanging out in the room right now, so I can't really do a cat cam that easily. Um, I'm not gonna like force her to sit in my office or anything, you know? Um, so if she were in here, we could do a cat cam, but she's not in here, so I won't make her. Um, okay. We can get like a really pretty actual, well, that's very fancy. Oh, I used to love that chandelier. Reminds me of my childhood. <laughs> Carmilla, and G. Kelly, thank you for the subs. Oh. Oh. Oh wow. Do you know what we were really lacking in The Sims 3? Plants. So lacking when it came to plants in this game. Oh my. I don't understand why we didn't have any plants, but like I swear we had no, no plants. For whatever reason. Especially like small little plants. I don't know. We just really did not have a lot of stuff like that. I always use like the same three plants. Yeah, me too. Okay. That's nice. And there's walking space, which is actually probably a good thing. Oh, do you know what we need also? Before I forget, let's get like a burglar alarm. And I'll put a fire alarm too. Okay. Okay. Um, the burglar alarm next to the garage kind of makes sense, right? Like the security system over there, pet bowls and rubbish. Yeah, I'll add those things in too. I'm just kind of thinking about lay ah! about layout right now. 
Um, let's see, I had used this pretty wallpaper everywhere. You'll have to get trash cans and stuff. I don't like it actually, so never mind. Sorry everyone, changed my mind. Oh, do you know what was so good? This one. Let's use this one. Um, should I paint it white? How about that? I probably won't use a pattern. I might just paint all the walls for now. Probably not yellow either. <laughs> um. How about that? Nice light color. Blue Suburban. Yes. Okay. Oh god, each time it spins, it like scares me. You liked the pattern? We're gonna use some pattern elsewhere, friend. Um. So, I I love that pattern, but it's also like the default pattern on what used to be my most favorite wallpaper ever in The Sims 3. So in my mind, I've used that like 5,000 times. <laughs> um, also, we're gonna do a lot of things with wallpaper and pattern places. Um, so for example, there's gonna be a lot of stuff like this going on. So it'll, it'll be patterned. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be patterned, but, uh, you know, it might be nice to have some places that aren't, <laughs> considering what my plans are. Okay, it's kind of lagging, so give me a sec. Oh my god, it takes like five times as long to build in The Sims 3 than it does in The Sims 4, just because of stuff like this. Okay, let me get out of this. Maybe I can go into live mode and try and... Come on, I'd like to get out. Oh my god, I'm stuck. <laughs> oh my god, I'm stuck. Okay, save the game, save the game, save the game. What kind of music do I like? Um, The Sims 2 soundtrack. I listen to it for three hours and 31 minutes every single day. So. Um, <laughs> anyway. Okay, let me get back into build mode. Let's try this again. Love the consistency? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I like one thing and one thing only. <laughs> All right, there we go. This can be the kid's room, the baby's room, I should say. That's gonna be so cute. All right. Now that I fixed that, I can work on the other rooms. Like this one, I had previously done, wait, hold on, that's the baby. How many rooms do I have? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so primary bedroom, maybe the boys, the twins could share this room because it's bigger. Or maybe I should do this one as the baby's room. And then we can have the, the other twins have these two rooms. How about that? I like that. I had this cute butterfly wallpaper in one of them. And then we can pick maybe something else fun and like kind of themed. Like there's some cool, I don't know. I just like to use the patterns cause when else do you get to do stuff like this, you know? These two are both teenagers now. They just aged up. Oh my God, that looks like the, um, the decor of the Max wallpaper in The Sims 4, doesn't it? With the flowers? I'm trying to find it. Look at, here's the, promo image from The Sims 4 one. Wait, let me zoom in and I'll show you. Doesn't it look like this? Oh, I'm playing, I have to play small by the way so that the UI is not messed up. But <laughs> doesn't it look like that one? That's so interesting. Very similar vibes. 
Um, I don't know if I want to use it or not. Um, are those clouds? Newspaper. We could do this. <laughs> I don't know which one. I kind of like the, oh wow. Just like little animals in that one. Dogs. I bet we could use this, but do it like in a way that it's like all pink. And it's like kind of different tones of pink. You know? I can't tell if... See, isn't that kind of cute? That'll be two nice rooms. And then this one's gonna be the Yeehaw wallpaper. Um, for my Sim who is a cowboy. But they have to share with their sibling. Yay! Okay. <laughs> All the kids' wallpapers are done. <laughs> I don't know if I like that one or not. I'm not sure. We'll decide once we actually start decorating it, probably. Okay, I'm trying to put my tile back. This is the tile that I used in the old house as the kitchen backsplash. And frankly, I don't feel like doing it again. So I'm just gonna use that one. That's why I saved it, so I wouldn't have to do it twice. <sighs> Thank you to Past Simsy for saving her work. Okay. Very nice. I knew exactly what, 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 what wallpaper I was talking about when I said yeehaw wallpaper. Yeah, we've all, we've all been there. Ah, stop spinning. Okay. Should we get some pretty tile? Yes. The question is, I forgot about this one. It's got like shells in it. Um, I might just use like a sort of custom tile thing. Okay, hold on. Tiles. We could do like, honestly, don't you kind of like the blue and the green? And then we could do this like plain paint. That's kind of fun. It's not really blue and green, it's more like purple and teal, but you know. <laughs> you get what I'm going for. And we can copy it. Yeah, I could do one wall that's like fully tiled. That's true. And we could do like different color tile in all the bathrooms if we wanted to. That would be nice, right? See, create a style, while it is extremely laggy <laughs> and at times a nightmare, it can also be really good. Like, it can also be at times really useful, so. Hmm. Maybe I will just steal this back. Paint, paint. I don't know. I don't know if I even like this swatch. Does it not come in like plain? Oh, it does come in plain. Okay, good. I don't like that stone that it is. Like, why does it look like that? Make it white. That seems decent, right? Should get the mod that remedies Sims 3 lag. Imperfect boy, I have it. <laughs> 
it doesn't remedy Sims 3 lag, it just helps. Um, and I have it, so. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it's not as bad as it would be if I didn't have the smooth patch, but um, even with the smooth patch, it, uh, you know. <sighs> even with the smooth patch, it is still a nightmare. Toilet is so expensive. What? Yeah, I'm gonna buy myself some expensive toilets because I don't feel like, um, I don't feel like having to worry about them breaking on me, so. Should I make this white? Maybe I could do like a pretty, oh, we could do one that's teal and one that's kind of the purpley color. <gasps> See, that's cute. Um, oh, I can't alt place it. Okay. Interesting. Um, yeah, that's fine. You can do F5 in this game. I tried it earlier and it didn't work, but maybe I, I don't know. I'll try it again. Oh, make this wood. I would like for it to be... No. I think that these, I think that these in particular, cause it's like a cabinet, I think it slots. I think that, I bet if I turned the like, whatever that slotting off cheat is, I bet that would make it stop, but. I don't really care to do it. Um, oh, that's a tree. Yeah, you can alt place, but you can't alt place everything. If that makes sense. Um, like I can alt place this, but I, cause this cabinet is like trying to slot. I can't alt place it. Maybe if I can't alt place it, I can just embrace it and put it in the corner over here. Ooh, that bothers me. Does it look better if I use an actual cabinet? Because it's bigger. Yeah, that fits better. I'll use that and then I'll get like a little sink. Um, do you know what? Let's call it. Unless I could put that above this, I guess. If it's only above the toilet, it probably is fine. Maybe I'll get a little, um, not laundry. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a little toddler potty too. That's nice. You want me to do a rug? I don't know. They're kind of like big. I might not. How many kids does the sim have now? Five. Oh, <laughs> it's a nightmare. I have so many children. Okay. You're gonna say size it down? Oh God, yeah, well, unfortunately, <laughs> as you know, we can't. Okay. Do you know what I might do? This is kind of a funky idea, but maybe I could put, I don't know, maybe we could, oh no. No. No, actually I changed my mind and I wanted to go back to how it was. I was gonna put like a desk in the nook, but never mind. Never mind. Um, oh, remember this shower tub combo? Doesn't that just take you back? Amazing. Okay, I'll just copy the same stuff. I was gonna try and do like special bathrooms. I changed my mind about that. Not anymore. Not anymore. 
Okay. Toilet paper holder. Look, this one's only two simoleons in this game. Okay. That's a relief. Um, I might put... I'll probably do like the exact same layout that I did in the downstairs bathroom. It's like just copied upstairs anyway, so... Look, I'm not here to decorate bathrooms in a nice way. I'm here to decorate bathrooms just in general. Is that even- okay, that's on the wall, yeah. I need to save the game. Okay. <laughs> not even more is it clear and Aspen and Snarty and Kimmy, thank you for the subs. Yeah, we're trying to be efficient, you know? Okay. I think they're cats, Magpie, but they can be bunnies if we want them to be. So. <laughs> Silent, thank you for the three months. All right, back into build mode. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, I'll probably use another toddler potty too. Because the toddler's room is going to be up here. Okay. Um, you know what? Maybe I'll just put this as like a decoration on the wall. Kind of comes far off the wall though. Maybe not. Okay. Okay. We can worry about those again later. Now we have functioning rooms. So that's really good. Um... Um, Silent, thank you for the three month resub. Let's try and figure out the living room layout. I did save myself a couple of things. Oh, I can put the car back too. Look at this. We have a car in the garage. <laughs> uh, and then we have the TV. Oh, I got this. I might put this thing in the garage too, to be honest. That'll make my life easier, because it's indoors. An actual car. Why are the lights like that? Mars, these are uh, these are just debug lights. They're not normal Sims 3 lights. They're debug lights. Uh, we have debug lights in The Sims 4 too, but they're not as good. The Sims 4 debug lights are um, kind of... I don't know, the lighting is weird off of them, but these are like debug lights, so they're free, and then in, in live mode they disappear. I'm not using them because they disappear, I'm using them because they're like a nice even light, and it's free. Um, a lot of the lights in this game are not even and not free, so... You know. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> okay, uh, we have a room for like a slightly bigger living room. In this house now, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, we have- it's, so, it's similar, like it's the same vibes. Uh, as using like the um the you know the really nice little tiny circle light in the sims 4 that we all use it's like the same thing um you would use it for the same reason you know i want like a simple geometric pattern on the rug but not really loving this one, so I don't know. Oh, see, like that in a simple gray color, honestly. If we tried to match it, like that kind of thing is not. Is that a floating window? Where? I've seen two people talk about it. Are you talking about this? The door is just open. One of my sims is trying to come in there. I think you mean the door. Yeah, it's just the door is open. This sim, Trevor, is trying to come in. So. That's what that is. Okay. We can get a really nice set of a couple sofas. I will scoot this 
Honestly, maybe I'll just put it like in a bunch. Do you think my Sims can still get through there? Probably not. So maybe I should try and do a living room that's like oriented. I mean, they probably can. They're not, they're not that bad at doing things. But they're a little bad. This is why it was nice when I had the angled wall. Um, hmm. Maybe we could do chairs instead on the sides. Do I have a chair that matches this? This was my favorite Sims 3 store couch. I used to use it all the time. I think they should be able to walk through that just fine, but if we did it like, hold on, I have an idea. If we did it like this, and then we had a chair on either side, they could walk around the back too. So we could do like conversation area kind of like this. Or we could even just have the one. But that way they can definitely get around. I'm trying really hard to not like interfere with their ability to walk because, well, they're just not very smart. So. It must be done. Unfortunately, we have to worry about these things. Maybe I could put that there and then have like a different coffee table. I don't know which one. Probably not a glass one. Oh, I used to always use that one. So cute. Oh, that's a cute chest. Maybe I could use the chest back there. Yeah. Oh my god, this is gonna take us forever to build. <laughs> Imogen and Adele and uh, and Shat and Tama and Silent and even and Claire. Thank you for the subs. Okay. Okay. Don't think they should add spiral stairs to The Sims 4 after what they did with round walls. Do you know what? I um. I'm gonna be honest. I also am not. I, I also don't think that we need to have spiral stairs in The Sims 4. I realize this is like maybe a, a controversial thing to say, right? But my thought is that when they gave us the like stair adjustments that we can do, that was so much more than I ever anticipated getting out of The Sims 4. I really like what we can do with stairs. And I I think that I use that stair configuration more than I would maybe use spiral stairs. Um, I know, I know, controversial take. But I just don't, I don't, I don't see myself like, oh no. I don't know. I said that very carefully. What do you know that we don't know? I wasn't saying it carefully. I was saying it slow because I was thinking about my words while I was doing this. <laughs> you guys really should learn to not read into what I'm saying. I wasn't like trying to say it carefully. I was just talking slow because I was trying to figure this out. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I would, I, I, I don't feel a desire for us to have stairs like that, so. I, I would prefer to have, I don't know, maybe, there's just other things that I would rather have than spiral staircases at this point in The Sims 4, I think. But, what do I know? That's not even like a true white. Oh my god. 
Here, I can do like a creamy couch. How about that? Oh good, it doesn't match the rug. <laughs> okay, um... Maybe I can try to make the rug creamier. <sighs> the rug is creamy. I'm stressed out. I guess that's slightly better. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. <sighs> this game is too much. How about a little plant? Big plant. Yeah, like that's a, that's a good example. Like I'd prefer to have the ability to do like diagonal staircases over like a spiral, but I don't know if that's a thing that we would ever get. I don't know if they're gonna do stairs again. We already got a huge stair update. So like, <laughs> I don't really um, expect them to do another stair update. Cause I feel like they probably are thinking like, oh, we already did it, you know? <sighs> oh, should we get a fun pet? Maybe. There's not a lot of space for it. Um, but yeah, like the modular stairs that we have now in The Sims 4, honestly, iconic. Like, so good. We could get a bird, a lizard, a rodent, a snake, a turtle. Hmm. Should we get a turtle? Or a lizard? I want a lizard in real life. Should I get myself a lizard? Although I don't know if I've had a turtle in a while. And I like how the terrarium looks. I think I want I think I want a turtle. I don't know, it just excites me. How do I make one? Don't come in. Well, fine, you can come in. <gasps> Eastern box turtle, red-eared slider turtle, Western painted turtle. What do you think? The most expensive? I don't know. <laughs> I want the red-eared slider turtle. Don't speed up. Are you gonna stalk it? That's my dog. Everyone look, 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 look. What should we- Oh, its name is Charlie! Should we keep that or should we give it a new name? Cause that is actually really cute. I think I might keep it- Oh wait, we have a- No, 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 no. We have a son named Charlie. We have a son named Charlie. Forgot about my son. We can't- We can't- <laughs> That's already one of the kids' names. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Tittles the turtle, like in the Peppa Pig game. That'll do. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Forgot that I already had a child named that. That's my bad. <laughs> okay, um... What else can we get, decorations-wise? I don't know. I like the living room layout, that's nice. Um, maybe we could get like a nice piece of art for this little wall right here. That's a big piece of art. Oh. You can't center things the way that you want to. It's so annoying. No, no, don't buy that. I could probably like, that is in fact the same picture twice, so. Probably don't need that. I do have this kissing photo. Maybe I'll just use this one. Oh, this could work. 
Wait, undo. Undo. Give me. Oh. We can make a fake gallery wall. Obviously, I only have the one photo for now, but we can eventually try to, like, you know, get a new one or whatever. Um, I'll try and make the wood tones match a little. Is it worth it? Probably not. But we can get, like, another greeting card photo taken. That seems nice. Okay. Oh, we need to put Bone Hilda somewhere also. She might do well up here in the hallway. Yeah, I'll put it a little bit off to the side because then it won't be in the way of anything. Um, how do we make Bone Hilda's thing not ugly? I don't think you can. That's fine. I'll get this lovely photo. Or maybe I could put this downstairs somewhere. On the wall in the hallway. Okay. This is going okay. So, what should we do next? <laughs> I'm trying to think, like, we need to be... Oh, let's get a couple more kitchen things. Like, it would probably benefit us to have a microwave. And honestly, whoa, do you want to get a Sizzle Baby Pro Deep Fryer? Yeah. Duh. That sounds like fun. We should probably get a food processor too. The thing about The Sims 3 is they like actually use these things. Sizzle Baby Pro Deep Fryer. Why did they call it that? Huh. I don't know. I don't know, okay? <laughs> it's not my problem, I don't wanna think about it. Here's the dog's bowl. Yay! The stinky fridge makes you laugh. Oh yeah, I brought this fridge from my old house. <laughs> and it's, um, apparently got some, some uh, spoiled food in it. I don't know. I could get a little tiny plant. This will do. I, I will keep this. Um, I need a rug for the dining room as well. I'm gonna try and combine these grass rugs to look like one rug. <laughs> Carpeting and rugs. Honestly, I might just I might just keep it that color. And we'll just have a rug and it'll be that one. Cause there's only so much I can take. Um I used to use this plant always. It was one of the only decent base game plants. We should keep it as grass. You know, maybe I should keep it as grass. Maybe you're onto something with that. Um. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Maybe one of these rooms can be like princess themed. Oops. Come back. Okay. Um. Oh, I used to use this in the baby's rooms all the time. It's so cute. Sorry. Getting distracted. There's some interesting shapes of art. Oh, I used to use this all the time. All the time. <laughs> Ooh, that's a nice like big modern piece. It's kind of green. I bet there's not different shades of it, but maybe I'll just keep it. Honestly, it looks good. 
It looks good. This is so cute. Maybe the kids can have this, like... Oh. Well, maybe the little toddler can have this. As I'm just going through, if we find anything nice... Okay. Um... <laughs> Oh, I used to use the- oh my god, I used to use that all the time. I forgot about this one. Okay. Let me see if I can copy this color. Yeah, it's a gnome crossing picture. <laughs> you thought something looked weird, I didn't realize it was The Sims 3! Oh my god. You just come in, you're like, you know, something looks kind of off today on Kayla's stream. It looks like her game is like really low quality today. That's so weird. I wonder what it is. <laughs> Meanwhile, she's just playing The Sims 3. <laughs> okay, I'm liking this little dining room. That's really nice. I feel like that's, uh, that's good stuff. <laughs> Love your new shaders, Kayla. Wow. Okay. Love how this game looks. I Look, I love The Sims 3 also, friend, but she has her moments. We can all admit she has her moments. I need to save the game. I'm feeling a lot better right now. Like we've made a lot of progress. A bookshelf in the living room maybe? Do you think it'll fit? We can try. Just wait, it'll save. Just needs some time. Just needs some time. You'd argue it looks higher quality, what, than The Sims 4? It's, I mean, that's one of those things that I think is very much like a personal preference. Um, this game was going for like realistic, you know? Um, which unfortunately doesn't always age very well. <laughs> When you try and make things that are realistic, uh, it doesn't always age the best, obviously. Um, but uh, it's not ugly. There's definitely some nice textures in The Sims 3. It's just one of those things that, um, you know, she has her moments. The Sims 4 is more of a cartoony style, which you might prefer instead, you know? Like it, um, it's all down to personal preference, isn't it? There's some really fun little bookcases in this game. This one's kind of simple. It's kind of elegant, even. Hmm. Oh my god. We have to use that somewhere. We have to. It's amazing. I'm kind of wondering if I do want to try and put... Look, this is like... Oh, it kind of clips. Maybe not. Um... I don't know. This house is missing one key element. Sweet treats furniture. Maybe I could do like one of the bedrooms all sweet treats. Would that make you happy? I'll, I'll do it as well. Like, I, <laughs> I like sweet treats. Um, God, this is weird. Yeah, we can do one of the kids' bedrooms all sweet treats. How about that? Okay, good plan, everyone. Oh, that's cute. There's a lot of nice stuff. I don't really know what to put there. Also, what kind of wallpaper should we do in the garage? Um, maybe something like that. And then we can do like a... How about a floor like that? Okay, I might also put some windows in the garage. Because it'll look better from the outside that way. It'll also be nice when we're in the garage, you know? 
Oh, I could put the... I could put the trash can in the garage, couldn't I? Right? Does that affect anything if you put it in there? What's the gold thing in the garage? Oh, this is my gem cutter. I'm gonna use it to get rich. So... My dog finds me gems, and then I cut them in there, and then I get money. <laughs> Not kidding, either. <laughs> okay. I don't know, like, how the patio will be in the back, but we'll figure it out. I'm liking this. All right, let's think about the office, then. Do you know what I might do, honestly? I might get, um, as an ode to the original, I might use the, like, default swatch of this wallpaper in the office. That'll be so nice. And then we'll know. I used to use that so much. <laughs> that was like my favorite wallpaper in the whole game. I was obsessed. Okay, I saved myself my computer, so I'll put that back too. And then we'll have to get a desk chair. Which one? Oh, we can get a nice one. How about that? Spooky, Orca, hey, thanks for the 33 months, and Coco, and Jay, and G, and Squid. Thank you for the subs too, everybody. Um. I should put a door in the garage so I can access the bike from the garage. Oh, that's a good idea. <gasps> Tyler Oakley, hey, thank you for the raid. How is your stream going? Um, I hope you had a good one today. I had the most fun raiding you yesterday, Tyler. I'm so glad. Um, it's good to see you here today. We are currently, um, well, I'm, so I've been playing The Sims 3 again a little bit recently, which, you know, it's kind of an old game at this point. Uh, and today I'm kind of trying to go in and build myself a, a house. I, a new house. I had one, and then I destroyed it, and now I'm trying again. But The Sims 3, she's so old, and so laggy. It's really a nightmare, so welcome in. <laughs> we've been- we've been doing better. The beginning of this stream was a real struggle. It was a real struggle. Um, but it's going- it's going well. We kinda- I built this just so I could have a garage, because I've been playing, obviously, most of The Sims 4. We don't have cars in The Sims 4, so, um, we have a garage and a car. We got a little house. Um, this room has a Yeehaw wallpaper. It's all very exciting. <laughs> but thanks again for popping by. Um, thank you for the raid. <laughs> I'm quite excited about this. Also, Bucky and Snarty and Katie and everybody, thank you for the subs too. <sighs> all right, what else should we get in the office? I guess maybe like some bookshelves. Tyler, thank you for the five gifted subs too. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um. Oh, there's so many cute things in this game! Look at this little bookshelf! I keep just like finding stuff and putting it up in the kids' rooms for me to use later. Look at this bookshelf too. I can't just use every bookshelf. <laughs> I would if I could, but I probably shouldn't. <laughs> there's even like this little princess one. It's so cute. There's so many nice items in this game. Like so really, really nice items as well. Um, maybe I'll put this, we could try and make it look like it's built in, but it's a little fancy for me. So maybe I'll just make it white. Should I put like a chess table in here? I know I like always do that, but it might be nice. We could skill build a little. Also, one of my sims is like, he's in the, is he like a, a secret agent or something? What's the, what, oh, he's in the military, oh. Yeah, my sim's in the military. We have secret agent in the Sims 4, which is what I was thinking of. Um, he's in the military, so he has to do like gym stuff, but I don't, oh my god. I don't know if we'll be having any curtains. Ooh, shutters. Yeah, I don't know if we're gonna have any curtains. 
That's interesting. You can't raise them up though. I wonder what windows they're supposed to go on. Oh yeah, this curtain like pulls on the ground. Isn't that kind of cool? I think it's a bit big for this window though. We could probably use it. If we make it like a color that's similar to the wall, you won't know that it's pooling on the ground or you won't know that it's like not right, right? <laughs> that's an idea. Um, yeah, the Sims 3 curtains are either tiny or enormous. There's no in between. Um, I guess I'll try and make it like slightly minty. That seems okay, right? And maybe I'll switch the bookshelf to be the other corner. What? What are you doing? Look out window? <gasps> Why did I not know? You, Fishfinger has the adventurous trait? You thought it was a rat? <laughs> and the dog does look like a rat. I didn't know that. Honest, okay, first of all, good luck looking out that window. You're like this big. But I had no idea. That's cool. It's like he's trying to escape. <laughs> I wouldn't blame him, but <laughs> it looks like it's trying to escape. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. <laughs> All right, just gonna keep uh, working on my rugs. Don't mind me. Um, actually that kind of matches, right? I don't care. I can't, I don't, I, <laughs> there's only so much I can take. Okay, um, ooh, skeleton. Oh, this thing waters your plants. Um, so I could put a chess table in here. Oh no, do you know what I actually honestly need? Is this, um, I guess I can put it in the garage though. I'm gonna need this like chemistry thing for my sim once I start trying to bring my imaginary friend back to life. I realize what I'm saying it, um, is a lot, but I, I am gonna need that once I try and bring my sim back to life, so. Or to life in the first place. The they were never not alive. Oh, look at all these. They don't have a single one in The Sims 4. Should we get this? No. <laughs> can catch on fire, be careful. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna need it though, so. What can be done? Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh my God. We could, um. We could get into sculpting. I could also make them park their car in the driveway and then like use the garage for all my things. You know? Tree house? Oh, we can get a tree house outside, yeah. Um, that was a hot air balloon, not a tree house. But there are tree houses. So we can use that one. We do need to start being careful about money. <laughs> Maybe I won't add anything else into the office yet and we'll furnish the bedrooms and then we can worry about money. Yeah, we're getting tree houses in The Sims 4 in the new pack. I'm very excited about it. I've not, by the way, I haven't played with them. I've just seen them obviously um, in build mode. I haven't actually played with them yet. So I'm, I'm gonna be just as excited as you are. Okay. Um. Let's leave it downstairs like this and work on the bedrooms a little so that we know that everybody's got like a working room. So 
I had previously given my main sim like a pink bedroom. I might, I might do that again. Um, I just liked it. It was so beautiful, you know? We had like a little stripy bed and it was so nice. Not those stripies though. Oh, maybe I'll use that. I like that. Yeah, that seems cute. Hey, Nosey, thanks for the raid, by the way. And little Tika Santa Cow and Mads, thank you for the subs, too. Okay. Oh, good God, this is gonna take me forever. Forever. If I was building the same house in The Sims 4, honest, I bet I could do it in 30 minutes. Like, the actual shape of this house is quite simple. You know, um, it's not really anything all that fancy. I, I sincerely believe that I could do this in 20 minutes if I was playing The Sims 4. Do it? <laughs> we can do that as our next build challenge in The Sims 4, recreating my Sims 3 house. Um, um, what nightstand? Well, that one's nice. Okay. Okay. Buggy, the EA app wasn't ever considered unsafe. People were just nervous about switching to it because they were worried it was going to break something. But um, I know that some people had some issues with, with uh, like, their games not showing up. But I don't think that that was ever, like, a, a widespread issue. And it's certainly not a thing that I don't think is happening right now. So it wasn't, like, unsafe. It was just, like, people were nervous to switch because it's, it's scary to get forced to switch apps when you've been using a certain one for so long, you know? Just crashes and it doesn't let you log in. Oh, really? I know some people have had some issues with it, like, uh, logging them out constantly, but that's not, like, the end of the world, you know? It's just really annoying. <laughs> okay. How about, like, a low dresser? I don't think any of them are low dressers. Cool. Um, no. I could probably use that, right? I just wanna get this room over with, to be honest. Okay, and then perhaps you can have a little plant. Oh, it's a tiny plant. Why don't they slot to nice places? Like, what, what makes you think I would want it there? Ugh. Okay. Simple lamps. Those are a bit bright. Uh, set intensity... Oh, set intensity dim this light. It's ugly. Should I... Oh. Okay, just scoot that over, and then you can see everything just fine. They make this unnecessarily difficult. Is that the lampshade? It's metal? I don't know, that's the base. The shade is themed. Interesting. Very interesting. I think it's cute in here, right? I don't know. I don't know. Ryan, thank you for the prime sub. Thank you so much. Okay. We can do a simple rug like this too, probably. Hey, Andres, thank you for the raid too. Thank you so much. Uh, how is your day going, everybody? 
Maybe I could try to steal that color. Oh, it's kind of ugly. Hmm. I don't care. I just, I, I just, you know? It's too much. <laughs> Can I see the stream? It's all dark. Oh, it's like, is it showing up as dark? Like the game looks dark? Or it's like a black screen, like it's broken? Both are not good. Both are bad situations. So. No, it looks fine? Okay, well that's good. Should I make this pink? Maybe? It's kind of random. It's like a dark purple color, maybe? I don't think I like this green chair anymore. Or maybe I do like the green chair? I don't know. Let me furnish the other rooms too. We might, I need to keep jumping around because I'm worried about like running out of money and not being finished with the rooms. Do you know what I mean? Um, and I think that's a reasonable concern. <laughs> um, okay, so this room belongs to a toddler. So they're gonna need a crib. And I had previously kind of like embraced the um, the orange in this wallpaper in the old house. I might kind of do the same in here because it's kind of fun. Oh, that's cute. Okay, and then we can get a little rug. I don't know which one. Oh, there's like a little heart rug. That's cute. This will work. This will work. I might do like a little stripey. I think this kid whose room this is, is gonna end up being the heir of the legacy, so. We're kind of building this one for them. Should I do something like that or is that ugly? Maybe I can make the whole thing a little bit more green. It's a little ugly. But maybe in a fun way? It's giving bathroom? Okay! <laughs> I mean, Gabby, Kayla, and Chris, and Imaginary, thank you all for the subs, too. I think once we get some more furniture, it'll work. It'll come together. I'm not worried. Everything's fine. I think the rug's a bit much. Can I make it a bit more muted? It's not muted, it's just lighter, but. Yeah, I know the stripes are kind of busy, but like obviously it's only a toddler's room, so I don't really mind that it's got like a lot going on because it's for such a young kid. That, you know, it's it's okay. Um, I'm actually gonna put a couple of toys for the toddler like downstairs in the living room for us to play with. And then maybe I could give the kid like a little toy box. This is very small. How about this one? Make it orange. How about that? Orange?
That's reasonable. You can get like the white bear bookcase. Oh, I guess the pirate one would be kind of cute. It's not as like... The color scheme's not as... I don't know. That might be kind of nice though, huh? Which one do you think is better? Let's do pirate. Under the sea. Okay. And is there anything sort of piratey? <laughs> I think it seems like it might belong. Those are planes. That might be nice in one of the rooms. Um. Oh, that guy's fishing. See, that works. <laughs> there. <laughs> Fisherman. Okay, that could be a good room for the toddler. <laughs> That'll do. I'm trying not to put too much into these because I'm worried about money. Okay. Okay. So originally these two Sims had their own bedrooms. The kids who are gonna have to share this room now, which, you know, sad for them, I guess. Uh, but they don't have their own rooms anymore. <laughs> no, the toddlers don't have tiny beds. They have, uh, they have cribs, Elephant. The toddlers sleep in cribs in this game. In The Sims 4, the toddlers are like, what appears to me a little bit older than the toddlers are in The Sims 3. Like the the Sims 4 toddlers like are like age-wise, you know, a little bit older. Um, I'm gonna do that bed in orange. I'm gonna do the other one in green, I think. I was I would use bunk beds, but last time when I tried to do their room, I used bunk beds and they were just totally glitched and it didn't work. So I don't think I should use bunk beds in here because I had such, such a problem with them last time. Um, and by last time, I, I mean like this was like a couple weeks ago, you know, it wasn't that long ago, so. The bunk beds are kind of buggy. Annoyingly. Um, let's see. What do we think about for like, Furniture. We'll probably get... I guess I want to have a desk. For them. Because they can do homework and stuff at it. And then, maybe this could be blue. We can use all the colors. I suppose Sims 4 infants will be like Sims 3 toddlers? No, I think the infants in the Sims 4 are going to be younger than the Sims 3 toddlers were. Um, it's weird because like a lot, obviously a lot changes uh, at that age. <laughs> um, but I think that the um, the Sims 4 infants are gonna be a bit younger than they were in the Sims, the uh, like somewhere, somewhere in between the like Sims 3 babies and Sims 3 toddlers, you know? The infants aren't gonna replace Sims babies, uh, Lud. They're gonna, in The Sims 4, the infants are gonna be like an in-between age. Um, so they're gonna age up from the existing babies, like a newborn, into the infant, and then into a toddler. It's a new life state they're adding in the middle. So that's how they're doing it. They're adding another, a whole new life state, which honestly is, I think, uh, quite good. I'm excited to have another life state like that. No one will use babies anymore though. I mean, maybe not at first. You might be like too excited to want to play with the babies at f the like existing babies at first, but I I like the um the like uh, how they're developing, like how they obviously start off you know as just a little baby <laughs> and then they become um more, I don't know, as they grow up. I I enjoy that part of it. So I'll keep them as regular babies still for a little. 
because I think that's kind of fun how they grow and change, you know? Um, okay, unfortunately, I can't answer questions about the, um, about the pack too much until I'm allowed to, to share the footage on it and stuff. I hope you understand. Um, but yeah, I'm not like ignoring you or anything. I just, I'm not allowed to talk about it too much. Um, okay. Okay. What about people who are doing the 100 baby challenge? Oh, good luck to them, honestly. <laughs> good luck to them. Okay. Um, I kind of like the idea of there being like, and then maybe like a, I don't know, a couple different colors on that painting. Yeah, I like that. That seems nice to me. I'll leave the desk open so they can do some homework. And then these two rooms, I don't know if I should use that. These two rooms will belong to the other teen Sims. Um, okay, save again. <laughs> Nikki and Trice and Pretty and Emmy, thank you for the subs, by the way, everybody. Okay. Okay. Kelsey, thank you for the 16 month resub. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. So this room is gonna be, I guess I'll do like some cute pink and blue. And then maybe I'll make this one Katy Perry sweet treats themed. I don't know. I like the idea. That's a boat. Interesting. Interesting. So are the newborns still objects? <laughs> um, well, yeah, so they're not changing how the newborns work, right? Like the newborns, um, the newborns, like the existing babies that we have right now, those things aren't gonna be different when the update comes out. Those are gonna be the same as, as they are now. Um, the difference is that, oh, there's a horse on the bed. Hope would love that. Um, the difference is is that they're gonna be, um, like they'll have a new life state after, after they are an infant, you know? Um, so that's what we have to look forward to. But the infants that we have right now are gonna be the same. Okay. When will the update come out? It's gonna come out on the 14th. The baby update's the 14th, and then the 16th is the pack. So they're coming out like right back to back. Okay. To be fair, real life newborns don't do much. That's the thing, right? Like I I think that the the babies that we have now are gonna feel a lot less bad once we have like the new stuff, like they aren't gonna stand out as being like as horrible once we have the new baby stuff, cause we're gonna be like, oh, this is great. <laughs> we have, they, they age up into these like amazing babies when they get a little bit older, you know, like, um, so I don't, I don't think that it's gonna feel as bad once we have them. Sea bed for the sea themed bedroom. Well, the sea themed bedroom is only for a toddler right now. So we can always give them a new bed when they get a bit older, but they're kind of young right now, so they don't really need a new bed just yet. You don't think they're horrible now? What, Sims 4 babies? That is perhaps maybe the most unpopular opinion I've ever heard. You're allowed to think that, but people really d w wish that they could do more. You know, um, that's the only thing is they think the babies like in the Sims 4 kind of are lacking. Um, and I, I would agree with that, you know? Um, but uh, I'm looking forward to them having some more stuff. It'll be fun. Okay. At least if they were more like the Sims 4, 3 babies, how you could like take them out of the bassinet. Um, 
Remember when newborns would age up into children? I know, when The Sims 4 first came out, we had these babies used to just age up into children. <laughs> they, would, they would be in the box and then become a full-blown child. They would pop out of the box and be fully grown. <laughs> it was really amazing. Just wanted more interaction. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to having more stuff to do with the babies, you know? I think that'll be really nice. So. Okay, that's nice too. Um, there's not a lot going on in that room, but it'll do for now. And then I'll furnish the Katy Perry Sweet Treats room. Does Katy Perry Sweet Treats come with a bed? Oh, yes it does. No dresser. We do have a nightstand. Lovely. Um, did we get a desk? No. No chairs? No desk chairs? How about if it was like this? Honestly, the, the artwork is actually quite cute. Like that's honestly kind of adorable. See, mine has chairs. Yeah, Little Dika's has chairs. So, just saying. Um, I can get the sweet treats light. Let's see, what else do we have? Oh, giant ice cream cone. Oh, the little mirror is actually kind of good. I could put that above the... I'm not saying mine's better. Just, you know, pointing things out. Yeah, well, I don't know if you guys noticed, but Little Dika's Sweet Treats Pack, oh my god, has chairs. <laughs> wow, sorry, that was just a lot for me to take in. <laughs> Um, there's even some, like, little kid stuff. This is for a teenager, though, so I, they probably don't need, like, a dollhouse. Um. Oh. Stay where you are. Wallpaper. Um. Come on. I'd like to filter content, but it's trying to load it. Well, Sweet Treats came with this. I'll use it. Oh my God. Okay. Be like green and pink, that's better. This is quite ugly, if I'm being honest. So, oh, is that a pie? Wow. Um, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> that's amazing, isn't it? Um, we could put some books. They're not from Sweet Treats, but it works. Honestly, I can't do it. I need, I need to like make sure I'm saving money for the exterior anyway. Um, I think that we should use a nice patterned wallpaper upstairs. Just so we can have some more to look at. Honestly, do I want Bone Hilda? <gasps> I can put Bone Hilda in the garage! Oh, I'm so silly. I have this whole room of just stuff. Okay, that makes my hallway like 10 times better. That's a relief, okay. <laughs> Okay, now we can keep Bone Hilda and I can put some cute stuff in the garage. I mean, in the hallway, I mean. Yeah, I think we need her. We can't not have Bone Hilda. This is serious. Okay. I can't believe you even asked that. Of course we need her. You're right, I don't know what, what got into me. I, like, I don't even know why I even considered that we might not need her. Like, obviously we need Bone Hilda. 
Don't be silly. Um, should I put like a, a rug? Honestly, I don't care. That's fine. It looks great. Who's Bone Hilda? So Bone Hilda is a skeleton maid. Um, and you can have her and then she'll clean your house. She's in The Sims 4 too, but she's harder to get in The Sims 4 because you have to like uh, do the paranormal pack a bunch to unlock it. So she's kind of iconic, dare I say. This is a nice, simple little house, you know? Oh, here's some peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> I might get another plant over here. That's good, okay. This will be decent for now, and we've got plenty of money to work on the back, so that'll also be good. Oh, look at the sweet treats in the front window as well. <laughs> oh, you can't see, wait, look. <laughs> That's horrible. Okay, lighting. Outdoor lighting. I think I might get some really cute, like, wall sconces. Um, if they were black, that would be nice. On like either side. See, wouldn't that be good? And then I could probably get some more over here. Yes, perfect. <sighs> what color are we gonna paint the house? I don't know. I don't know. Blue? <laughs> I guess we could do that. Um, let's think. Fluorescent pink. Okay. That's an idea. Oh, look at that, like, baby blue. Wait. That's really cute, isn't it? Blue Suburban. Thank you very much. Okay. One other really nice feature in The Sims 3 is that you could like place the end pieces yourself instead of having to like worry about how the game auto place them. You could just do it and then it would always be right. So there's no need to like put columns on the, on like the edge of the wall you know, because you just have, like, these end pieces. We can't escape the blue suburban. Well, I'm doing it as a joke right now. <laughs> it's a meme. In a world where I can paint something literally any color ever, it's still a blue suburban. Okay. Go around... I like this shade of blue, it's really cute. And it's funny, so. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna like it, it's gonna be so nice. Just you wait. Just you wait, okay. And then I need the middle walls, too. It's so fun having a garage. What do you guys think we're gonna do for the, um, the landscaping? I might pick a different color roof, too. Oops, I forgot a wall. Snappy? Oh, hello. You sounded like you were far away. You're right there. You wanna jump up? Can I help you? Yeah? Come here, jump up. Don't just sit there. She's making her presence known. <laughs> if you want up, you can. You gonna go on the desk first? Okay, there you go. There's a cat. She's on the desk. Okay. I can't even paint that, but I guess you can't see it, so it doesn't matter, right? Thank you for screaming at me. That was so nice. Everybody loved it. 
Okay. Maybe if we had like a more... Ew. Um, that, is that what I had before? Cause it looks nice. Thank you, thank you, I know. I like that. Right? Well, what's that one? What are the rest? The green's kind of nice too, but maybe not with this particular build. Pink. Um. Yeah, I think the gray was still the best. It kind of matches the, um, maybe we could like, do a more grayish brick. You know? Unless it's ugly. How does that look? It's not quite the same tone. Um, like that. It's not really like the most gray. I don't really think I even like it. Hmm. You have to be so careful with like how you change it. Cause just like the smallest little bit you know? Is it Sims 2 or Sims 3 music? We're playing the Sims 2 soundtrack in the background right now. I play the Sims 2 soundtrack most days on stream. <laughs> um, okay. Do something simple like that. Maybe try a charcoal. You think it looks too, like, even darker than this? We can go darker, but... I still am, like... I feel like I'm really... See, that's like so blue-toned. That's like a blue-toned gray. I don't think I like this brick. I liked it when it was a brick color, but I don't think that I like it... I don't know. Oh no. Oh, she like headbutted me right in the face. <laughs> okay, thank you, Snap. Um, what about, I mean, there's other kinds. I just don't really like them. That's the problem. Uh, we can always do a terrain paint as well, but even that I don't like adore. Do you know what's so annoying? Why does the grid go away only when I'm doing terrain paint? I have to deal with a stupid grid every other time, but not this time. As if that makes any sense. The one time I need it right now. And they take it away. Okay. Um. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, should we do like, hold on. See, I don't think I'm gonna like this that much, but we can try. Um, I wish it was like a harsher line. I don't know. You think it looks good? Okay, that makes me feel better. That's fine then. 
Never knew to do that. Yeah, it doesn't work in The Sims 4, um, but it works in The Sims 3, like what I just did with the tiles to make a perfect line. Um, okay, I will make some white columns quickly. Ooh. Slightly better wood. White column. Maybe I can make this a little gray. I don't know. The house is kind of gray. And then once we get some flowers, it should help. Yeah? You can free place the columns. Oh yeah, you can place columns wherever in The Sims 3. Alt placing. Much better. Okay. Landscaping. So... We gotta think about what trees we wanna do. My cat is being so needy. <laughs> Can you not in The Sims 4? No, you can't alt place columns in The Sims 4. Oh, that is a lovely little tree. Oh my goodness. We might be onto something with that. Okay, hold on, snap. Please be careful of me when I'm trying to build, okay? She's like putting her forehead into my chin. <laughs> You're being so nice, thank you. Um, I like those trees. I think those trees actually look really good. Yeah, th you can't really free place columns in The Sims 4 because they're like really, really, um, like Dika said, tied to the walls. Um, which is kind of annoying, obviously, but that's kind of what's going on with them. Ooh, landscaping is more expensive in The Sims 3. Where's one of my little trees? Um, I'm building this in Appaloosa Plains right now, and as far as uploading it to the exchange, I haven't uploaded anything to the exchange in a long time. And when I last tried on stream, it completely crashed my entire game and it never let me upload it. So, will I upload this to the exchange? Hard to say. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's up to us. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, we might have bigger problems to worry about. So... Yeah, the trees are expensive. Not all the landscaping is expensive. The little hydrangeas that I like to use only cost one simoleon, so... Um... <laughs> okay. Let's try and get some more pretty little plants, shall we? There's a lot of really nice little things. Should we look through all the trees? Just to see what else we want to use. Probably not that. <laughs> Probably not that. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Probably not that. <laughs> Fascinating. That one's kind of nice, but doesn't really match the neighboring trees. Um, no. You need to like go through these things periodically and like re -fam oh my god, and re-familiarize yourself with what comes in the game, you know? Otherwise you kind of forget what we've got access to. That one's all right. I'll save that for a sec. That's what I've been using. Um, oh, that was large? It, it really was, wasn't it? That one's not horrible either. Well, that one's kind of pretty. Hmm. Oh, it's a cactus. I was like, what is that? I couldn't tell from the picture. <laughs> yeah, we can't size stuff down. There's, um, there's some natural variation in the size of the trees, though. Like, you see how that one's a little bit bigger? So it does, there, it does variate how things look a little bit naturally, which helps. Um, oh my god, I don't know if I should keep going through every tree, because there's a lot. 
Um, no. No. What? Again? How many of them are there? Uh, I think maybe I will use this one then. Well, the question is, where can I put it? In the backyard, nice and big. Scoot over. I'll probably move you, and then I'll put my... Um... I don't really think I should use another one. Okay, fine, just do that many, just do that many. This is fine. <laughs> Free Geo and Gia, thank you for those subs, everybody, by the way. Oh my goodness. Okay. Maybe I could put a couple of these little guys back here. That'll look nice from the windows inside, too. I'll like that. Okay. There's a lot of nice landscaping in this game, isn't there? I don't know what I want to do in the back yet. <laughs> Seasons, thank you for the sub too. It's Snow Bunny, thank you so much. All right. Now we have to worry about how we're gonna do the flowers. I'm not really sure. So I really love, oh, I used to use these all the time. I really like, in particular, these little hydrangeas are some of my favorites. And they're also only one simoleon. So I'm feeling very like, you know, inclined to use those. Um, as you might expect. <laughs> Cause they're just really nice. It's so cheap. I feel like it shouldn't be that cheap. It's like, it's a mistake. I also used to love these. These are so cute. But yeah, most of them aren't one simoleon. Most of them have a more reasonable price, like these are 40. But these ones are one for whatever reason, so. I accept. Okay, gotta be careful not to have anything clipping into the house. Those are a little bit smaller. Maybe another color? What, you don't like the color of these? I liked the color of these, do you not? Oh. Okay, that can stay right there. Look how pretty that looks. I wish I could size them down more. <laughs> That's okay, we'll just take what we can get. That is fine. Um, should I put one over here maybe? Probably. It's honestly very beautiful. This one's small. If I wanted another small one for the front. I don't know if that's too many. I think that might be too many. I think I need some like plain uh, low-lying like shrubs to add into this, but you know, we really don't have shrubs like we do in The Sims 4. Oh, that's nice. Does it really not come any smaller than that? Oh, that's a good one. Little shrub. Supernatural. Who would have thought? Um, okay. Maybe I could put... <laughs> the rocks are like too uniform. <laughs> Why? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I'm not used to the size of these rocks. Um, okay. Can you zoom out so I can scoot it? That 
helps, right? Just a little rock. Yeah, Summer, I can show you a floor plan. I can um, show you a floor plan right now if you want one. Um, I can leave the, you probably want the grid on if you're gonna try and recreate the floor plan. Here's the first floor, if you wanna take a screenshot. And then I'll take one of the second floor for you too. You can also just clip this and then screenshot it later if you want to. That's the first floor and, oh. <laughs> oops, <laughs> that's the second floor. <laughs> Sorry, I switched the camera by accident, I didn't mean to. <laughs> Um, anyway, hopefully that helps. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we can steal... Honestly, that rock is kind of nice. Maybe I'll use another one. And then... Some of this landscaping... Kind of around the big bush. Um... How much landscaping or, and how close I should maybe ask instead how close can I get the landscaping to this without it glitching where snap right here <laughs> right in my face actually thank you for asking <laughs> don't they walk through the bushes a lot in this game oh do they Maybe you're right on that. They might. Well, we can just bet on that, maybe. That's true, the alien from last time was like fully in the bushes, weren't they? Okay. I feel like that's quite nice. Let's try and do some, maybe I will get a couple more rocks. I could probably like combine. I don't know if this is like my Sims 4 speaking, but I kind of like how the rocks look. Um, I don't know. Would I consider rebuilding this in The Sims 4? Jessica, we actually talked about that earlier. Um, Cause I was joking about how uh, this is gonna take me ages to build in The Sims 3, but I could probably build it in like 20 minutes in The Sims 4. <laughs> I was I was kind of making that joke cause it's, it's, I'm so much faster at building in The Sims 4, obviously. Um, for a few reasons. I mean, it's just a little easier to build in The Sims 4, obviously, but also um, I don't like how dark that dirt is. Maybe I'll use the lighter dirt. Um, smaller brush, maybe? But yeah, The Sims 4 is just, there's a lot less to customize in The Sims 4 as well, so it's faster for that reason, too. We used to do a lot of stuff where we tried to recreate Sims 3 houses in The Sims 4. Um, beyond just, like, like, recreating how I, is that bright blue? Oh, riverbed. But yeah, beyond just like recreating um, like this house that I just built, I did a few streams a couple years ago where I really tried to rebuild like the existing like sort of popular default houses. Like I built the Sims 3 goth house in The Sims 4 and that was kind of fun. Um, Cause we like recreated it tile for tile as best as we could in The Sims 4. Um, so I've done some stuff like that, too. We did a few of them, not just the goth house, but like a, f a few of the houses. Um, okay. I might change what the... Little... Yeah, we would do like full streams on that and it would take us like hours. Because <laughs> we'd be trying to recreate it like exact, you know? Um, okay. Did we do, I think we did the wolf mansion. I did a, I did a bunch. We did like, like maybe like six or seven of them. Um, I don't know. Did the Sims 3 land grab house? Yeah, <laughs> we did a bunch of stuff like that. Um, let's 
I don't know. Let's see if we can get a different brick. You accidentally killed your legacy heir? Oh my god. I unfortunately relate to that. <laughs> what happened to him? What'd you do? Mm. But then your game froze and you hadn't saved after her death, so she's back. Oh, good. Well, problem solved. I would kill her again if that happened to me. I hate to say it, but I would. <laughs> I don't... I'm struggling a lot with the color scheme of this. Like, I don't really know what color to pick for the patio. Oh. Tempted to kill her again? See, I would. Nothing wrong with that. We're the same, you and me. I just don't think I like it that much. What do you think? You liked the default of that, but you liked gray too? I was just trying to make it, ooh, how about, oh no, 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 no. I was just trying to make it like, blend into, I guess the darker gray might be good. I can't really tell. I don't think I like this. I think I want to do a different patio swatch. I don't, I think that, I don't know. Oh, this one might be okay. Cause we can make this like, kind of a darker gray color to match the roof. Maybe. Something like that. That seems nice, right? Oh, are you gonna leave? Okay. Thank you, Snap. You put your butt right in the camera. I'll see you later. <laughs> I think I like how that, that looks with the brick. I think that's kind of nice. Maybe we could get some nice like outdoor stuff. Like we could maybe get a grill. <gasps> oh my God. I totally forgot about these. This is a pizza oven. I used to love this thing. Oh, we're gonna have to put that. We have to use that. Grandma's canning station. Baker's station. Oh. I want it. Should I add it in just like extra right there? Maybe. I kind of think so. The Sims 3 store stuff. Well, it cost a million dollars. It sure was fun. You know? It almost like kind of matches already. <laughs> I'll just make it have like the exact right swatches, but um, it like kind of matches. <laughs> That's really weird, isn't it? Um, copy the tile over. A pack is that from? Uh, the Sims 3 store. Cursed, I know. But it's from the Sims 3 store, unfortunately. Um, this seems like a nice, like, family sort of item. But maybe we could do... Oh, a tiny lighthouse. Fisherman. That's pretty. I think I want something a little bit bigger than that, though. Maybe like, oh, some of these are expensive. I need to be careful. Is that totally random? Yeah, because the other stuff's kind of more, I don't want to say modern, but it kind of is. Like shape-wise at least. How much are things in the Sims 3 store? Oh, like a million dollars. 
I'm not even kidding. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, okay. I think I like that. I think I'll just use that. Worse than kits? Oh, so much worse than kits. Uh, like, not even- there's not even a comparison to kits. With, like, the cost of The Sims 3 store. It's so much more expensive. Like, actual money. Actual money. Yeah, it's similar to how we have kits coming out a lot, but they would have, like, weekly sets that cost, like, $15 in real-life money. Um, you can still go onto The Sims 3 store and you can see, like, the sim points to dollars conversion and, and how much the stuff costs. That's still, like, visible. Um... You can still buy stuff also if you wanted to. Like, isn't Dreamlight Valley expensive? No, Dreamlight Valley is, uh, with the new paid stuff they added, it's even worse than the Sims 3 store. Um, that, that stuff's like next level. I don't know what they were thinking. <laughs> but yeah, it is pricey. Um, but yeah, the, the uh, Sims 3 store stuff was quite a bit of money. I have a few things that I've bought over the years, but um, it was really expensive, so. Have we saved recently? Yeah, I did a couple minutes ago. I've, I've just been working on the backyard, so I think we should be okay. Um, there's some interesting grills. I don't know if I even want one, but I kinda do. Ooh, this one's like built in. Maybe we could try and build out- what is that from? The... I wonder if I could try and put like a counter next to it. Do you think I could get one that I can make match? No, because it's not the same. I could try though. Right? Um, switch. That kind of works. There is a matching one? Oh, there is? Oh. Any counter can match. <laughs> and when you're playing The Sims 3, you can make anything match. Um, oh, it would be this one. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, there you go. Maybe I'll try and just use the default swatch so I can cannot change style. Liar. Okay. This is kind of cool, right? We've got like a whole outdoor kitchen thing going on. Maybe? Wait. <gasps> I'm out of money. Oh no. I was gonna try and put my pizza oven over here, but I can't. Okay. Um, so when we next play, we are gonna have to get to work. <laughs> Come on. Hello. Oh, because these counters are 790 simoleons! Oh! Well, that explains it. My god. It's ridiculous. There's matching counters, you say. Hmm. Maybe there shouldn't be. <laughs> No, I kind of like it. Well, we always said we were going to add on to the house as we got more money and stuff, you know? Here. I can sell a couple of these things. See if we can get some more money. Um, ah, this is not going that well. Yeah. That's rough. That is rough. Okay, anything in my inventory still? Other than just books, I guess. I don't think any of them are worth anything. No. 
Have the dog hunt. Yeah, we're gonna have to. <laughs> we did okay. No, we actually just built Casey. We we kind of like just finished as well. Um, well, there I would probably like to add a few more things if I had a little bit more money, but I don't, so. <laughs> Um, we haven't done any gameplay, really, today. Um, I'm excited to have the pizza oven. I, I think that that's worth the money. Just because it'll be fun to play with, you know? Um, I, I can justify the, the price of all those little things. Just because I'm kind of excited to play with them. Maybe I can get, like... Hold on. Wait, I wanted some more terrain paint. Oh, I guess I was about to go like try and get um, some playground equipment for the toddler, but I, I, obviously it's kids playground equipment. I was just thinking like, oh, the kids can play. And then I was like, oh, only one of the kids is a toddler. The other ones are teens, so they probably don't need it. But if we wanted to get something, there is some kind of cute stuff. Maybe the teens can play with the soccer goal. I don't know if I've used this in a long time. How much was that? Okay, I realize it says that it's like clipping, but how bad? All oh, the teens could, wait, the trampoline is better. Hold on. Trampoline is way better. Outdoor activities. Oh, I forgot we had little sandboxes. Oh my God. We also have like seesaws and stuff. Can I afford a trampoline? It's like blue. Why am I not seeing it? That's a driving range. Um. The sandbox is a cute idea, though, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. It's with ambitions, right? Yeah, I think so. Why am I not seeing it? Look how cute the sandboxes are, though. You can dig for treasure in these, can't you? Maybe we could get a sandbox for now. Listen, it's cheap. And it's so cute. Think you can't afford the trampoline? I feel like, oh no, it, yeah, it's this, it's 2,150. Yeah, so we can't afford it. Um, well, maybe we can get one later. Can you play in the sandbox? No, well, when this one ages up into a kid, just you wait. I'll be playing in that sandbox. <laughs> I'll be playing in that sandbox when I'm a little bit older. <laughs> okay, I feel good about this house. I'm gonna really quickly, um, I'll show you guys a tour, but first I'm gonna have the dog go try and find me some stuff. I'm sorry to say this, but I need the dog to go find me some gems. So I will. <laughs> Bone, thank you for the bits, I appreciate that. Um, hello, little fish finger. Go sniff me out some collectibles. Do you happen to have any? No. Stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay. Anyway, this is the outside of the house. Um, it looks very similar to how the other house looked. <laughs> uh, but it's better. And it's bigger as well, and it has a garage. So this is what we've got to work with. Um, obviously this is the back of the house. I would like to do some more in the backyard. I just don't have enough money yet. Um, and then on the inside, when you first walk in, I could probably do with some more furniture on the inside too, but again, we only have like a thousand simoleons, so <laughs> one step at a time. Uh, but we have like a little living room right here. We've got um, some family photos on the wall, some toys for the toddler. This is the kitchen. I've gotten myself a bunch of cool things, like some a deep fryer um, and some stuff outside. I bought this so I can make some like desserts and stuff. 
Uh, over here we have a little office. There's a bathroom downstairs. This is my turtle. Um, this is the garage where I've put all my things that I want to play with, like Bone Hilda and this, so I can make, you know, sculptures and whatnot. Um, and then this is the little dining room over here. Upstairs, we've got like a little stair landing, hall bathroom. This is the primary bedroom. I don't like how it looks, but I don't have enough money to fix it. This is their ensuite bathroom. And then the twin teenagers share this room. It's yeehaw themed. The toddler has this room. It's fish themed. Um, <laughs> and then the other two kids, one of them has this butterfly themed room. And the other one has a Katy Perry sweet treats themed room. And that's everything. So, feeling good. <laughs> I actually quite like it. I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm looking forward to when we play next. That'll be fun. In the meantime, though, I'm gonna make the dog keep hunting for me because I'm trying to get some money. How's everybody else up to? You're deep frying. Ooh, deep fried corn dogs. Peanut butter and jelly. Maybe you could clean out the bad food. And the toddler. Can someone bring it inside? Okay. Okay, maybe, can you? Oh, I put Bone Hilda down here, didn't I? Maybe you could awaken Bone Hilda. Okay. The deep fryer is the ice cream maker of The Sims 3, by the way, just a heads up. Oh yeah, I know. They use it so much. What was that? Oh, it was Bone Hilda being awoken, sorry. Um, but I'll get food that way, so. It'll be good. Where'd the kid go? Are you picking it up yet? Okay, good. Now bring it over here. Put Jacob down over here. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, they are using it again already. Didn't Fishfinger die, by the way? No, Fishfinger was just gonna die. Like, the bar is full. So at the end of last stream, we were like, oh, I don't want to play because Fishfinger's gonna die. But now I'm making Fishfinger spend their final moments. Yes, Pink Diamond! Their final moments doing something they love. Like digging me gems so I can make money. So. Oh my god, they really are using it constantly, aren't they? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, well... Oh, we're already sculpting! Look at that! Cut stack of gems. What are you yelling about now? Well, quit it! So annoying. Enough... Points for inheritance. No, I don't think so. Otherwise, I would have bought it. Yeah, we don't have enough. It needs 30,000 points. Um, I've already bought it once. <laughs> uh, inheritance. Yeah, then you get like 30,000 simoleons. I already bought it once. I also had um, Fishfinger found me one of those Tiberium gems, which grows and then gets a lot of money. I got like 40,000 from it, so. How much is that worth? Yay, 2,282 and 1490 from that. Okay, that's good, hold on. I can probably finish, oh, somebody made a pizza! Oh my God, they really are gonna autonomously cope with this stuff so much, aren't they? <laughs> yikes. <laughs> yikes, 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 okay. Um. Oh. Will it not, like, turn the corner like I want it to? Hmm. Well, I can spend a large amount of money on it. I don't really mind. You know? Like, it's kind of cool. It sort of, like, builds in the patio. A little. Which I sort of like. What happens if I make this match? <sighs> Ugly is what happens. Okay. Please hold. Um. I 
I don't really there we go I don't think that I want the base to be metal that seems like it fits in right that's nice I think I like it what other little like outdoor things do we maybe want to get I guess I could put the sand pit over here now and then also buy the trampoline. Because I have- I won't have money after that, but then we'd have the trampoline. And that would be fun. So... It's probably worth it, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah. That'll be fun. Can you come jump on it so I can see it? I don't know about this deep fryer, besties. Every single person has deep fried something today. And they keep burning it. Maybe I'll just get rid of it. It was fun while it lasted, but... Oh, Fishfinger got max hunting skill! Oh, good job, little one! I don't want Fishfinger to die sad, so... They've lost deep fryer privileges. Yeah, seriously. Oh, look. Oh, this looks so fun. I want a trampoline. Doesn't that seem so fun? Yeah, we've got a lot of fun things in the house now. I'm very excited. They jump like so high. <laughs> also, this is like brown. Hold on. Can I... Oh, that's brick now. Ah, oh, that's probably fine, honestly. Talk about the dog found you. Oh, when it says the dog found something special, it means like these fragments of things. The dog did make us like 4,000 simoleons a second ago, though. Oh, I, I need to fill the bowl for fish finger. Oh, someone did. Okay, good. Fish fingers bowls are full. Everyone's stuff is all ready. You're nauseous because you aren't feeling so hot from eating disgusting food. It's not my fault that you burnt it. Fishfinger really did pay for this whole house. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. Fishfinger is the reason that we have a house. If it weren't for Fishfinger, we would have no money. Literally no money. Oh, I didn't give Fishfinger a bed. Fishfinger has toys. But I didn't give her her own bed. Maybe I'll put one for her in here. I'm just so used to, like, not playing with dog beds, um, that I kind of forget about it, but it would be nice in here, wouldn't it? Yes, it would probably be nice. Um, oh, wow. Probably not that, to be honest. <laughs> um, maybe I can make it, like, beige or something? I don't care. Give the dog a good night's sleep before they die. Oh yeah, here, you can come take a nice nap, fish finger. Guard the home, eat the food. You got this, buddy. I'm trying not to look at, at the age. We got another pet though. This is kind of fun. Should we sit here and watch it for a sec? I'll probably get off stream in a few minutes, but. Oops, I can't get that far back. Okay. Oh my god, look at it. That's kind of cute. That's my little best friend right there. <laughs> look at it! Oh, I'm glad we got a turtle. That was fun. I think it just does the same animation over and over again. <laughs> I named the turtle Tittles. That's after the turtle from um, my favorite game, My Friend Peppa Pig. Unfortunately, I'm not kidding about that. Um, <laughs> Ooh, who gets what room? Nessie. Alice. 
You are brave, shy, an animal lover, and evil. You are family-oriented, clumsy, eccentric, and artistic. Oh, an artistic sim would like Katy Perry sweet treats, for sure. He sleeps with his hat, nice. Oh yeah, he always wears his cowboy costume. Always. Okay. Everyone to bed, please. Everyone to bed. Oh, wait. Oh no, 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 hold on. Someone has to put the, hang on. Someone has to put the kid in the bed. <laughs> I forgot I have a toddler. And in The Sims 3, you can't just like send toddlers to bed on their own. They have to be brought into a crib. <laughs> there we go. Okay, you're in bed. You can go to bed. Whew, okay. Okay. No, me too, Clueless. Clueless, I was thinking that earlier when I was decorating the room. Like, if I had a couch like that, especially like a cool ice cream, or that's a cupcake, isn't it? A cool, like, cupcake-themed couch. To have, like, a fancy couch in my bedroom as a child, that would have been amazing. I would have felt so cool if I had my own, like, chair or couch or something, you know? That's, like, the dream. So she's gonna go in there and, like, hang out with her friends on the couch. That would be cool. She's, she's like living it up, honestly. So, you wanted the ice cream bench from iCarly so bad. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of things from Sweet Treats that you would like probably. Wait, look at this. Please hold. Look at this. Ice cream bench, you say? It's kind of iconic. I don't know, I'm just saying. <laughs> You made a couch as a teen? Oh, that's so cool. That's so cool. Okay. Everyone's gonna be in bed now. No, not you. Why aren't you in bed? Cause they're all in the wrong beds! Go into your bed. This one's your bed. This one's your bed. Oh my god, Bone Hilda, please. We're about to get back in the bed. You're just gonna keep making it. Okay. Save game. Do you know what, Froggy? The only, like, physical, physical Sims game that I own, and I'm not joking. The only physical Sims game that I own, it's right there. Katy Perry Sweet Treats. I don't own a single other physical Sims game. I literally only own. Katy Perry sweet treats. I've thought about like, cause you see them at thrift stores like all the time, the physical copies, but I think it's kind of funny that I only have sweet treats, but like, I don't know, as a avid simmer, I should probably, you know, buy some more just for like the collection aspect of it, you know? But also being able to say, the only physical copy of The Sims that I have is Katy Perry Sweet Treats. <laughs> yeah, the, the Katy Perry Sweet Treats, like the sealed copies are like actually sell for a lot of money. Mine's not sealed. Cause they don't make them anymore. It's discontinued, the sealed copies, like the physical copies. Can you even buy like a digital version of Sweet Treats anymore? The fact that she did that is so confusing to me. This was like Katy Perry's prime as well. It's amazing. Bought one through a UK website, interesting. Yeah, in like 2021, really. But I don't know, it's wild they did that. <laughs> it was hard to find, I bet. Yeah, that's really interesting. This cool modern dolls work to make Katy Perry Sweet Treats in The Sims 4. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> yeah, I heard somebody like made like a, a version of Sweet Treats in The Sims 4. I, I don't recall their name. Um, it's not really ringing a bell, you know? <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about Little Dika. <laughs> Okay, we should probably get off stream here in a sec anyway, but, um, oh, do you know what I should do actually before I do that? 
Oh, you can't change this multiple times a day. I might try and get a little, uh, screenshot of the house. I could probably use that. Okay, it's not very good, but I'll stick my face on it and then put it on more Simsy. <laughs> That'll be great. <laughs> Just perfect. Am I gonna play Candyland with friends again? Oh, that would be so fun. I should ask Dr. Gluon if he wants to play again. Actually, speaking of Gluon, um, next Tuesday, the 28th, yeah, so a week from today, we're doing a Fall Guys tournament um, with some friends. The Snappy Simmers have returned, but it's gonna be a less scary tournament. It's for charity as well. Um, but we're gonna do a Fall Guys tournament, and, and, <laughs> It's, um, I learned this only yesterday when I had a call with them about it, but apparently the tournament is crowd control. So I've never played crowd control fall guys, but like you, if you've seen me play like crowd control saves, I know immediate. Oh no. Right. <laughs> um, but like basically people, when they donate, uh, to the charity or raising money for the American heart association, when they donate, it gives them like coins, um, and you can use the coins to affect my game. And the Fall Guys ones are like, jump, move left. So I'll just be running, you know, trying to finish, move left. <laughs> oh God. Um, so <laughs> I think it's gonna be a nightmare, but we're gonna uh, play Fall Guys with some friends on Tuesday, next Tuesday. So, um, wish us luck. <laughs> you could also, you know, try to help, I guess. But yeah, I was looking at the list and I was like, oh no, maybe I'll pull it back up. Hang on. Because I sent it to them yesterday. So I know I have it ready. Easily available. Endless dives for 10 seconds. Endless jumps for 10 seconds. So I assume that means if you buy it, it just like forces me to jump, 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 jump for 10 seconds straight. Um, force left, force random direction, force right, invert display. I might turn that off. Jump, move down, move left, move right, move up. No diving for 10 seconds, no jumping for 10 seconds. Um, you can, it puts like an overlay up. Uh, there's a few of them. Overlay eliminated, overlay did fall guy, overlay paint splash, overlay yogurt. I think all to like cover my screen so I can't see. Um, and also spin camera. Oh my God. It auto does it, Eve, it's like a mod. Um, so when people buy it, it'll just like, so it's, it's not me like, oh, someone redeemed, move left. It's like the game is like, oh, someone redeemed, move left. And then it moves me left. So, yikes. It'll be during our regular stream time. I think the tournament is technically from five to seven Eastern time. It's currently seven. So the timing actually worked out quite well for us because it's when we usually stream. Um, but I'll have to like triple check so I can give you like Confirmed, confirmed. But yeah, it's gonna be really hard for me, but probably very fun for the viewers. So, and our team um, is Dr. Gluon, Equippy, and Rochella, and me. We did a Fall Guys tournament uh, together a few months ago. It was quite scary. <laughs> we were just vibing. We were just simming, doing our thing. And like everybody else was maybe taking it a little bit too seriously. There was like some ranting and raging going on in the Discord and it was kind of stressing me out. But I don't think that's gonna happen with this. <laughs> I think it's I think it's gonna be um, a bit more chill, you know? <laughs> um, oh no, like we weren't the ones ranting and raging. It was like other people. I didn't know anybody else that was in the tournament, so. Um, it was kind of scary. <laughs> I was just trying to game. <laughs> I don't know. What's on stream tomorrow? Oh, we're gonna play Disney Dreamlight Valley. I stream in the morning on Wednesday, so I'll be here tomorrow morning and we're gonna play some Disney Dreamlight Valley. And then um, the next few days after that, we're gonna play Sims 4. We'll do some Sims building and some not so very and stuff the next few days. Um, oh, Zeus was part of the tournament, yeah, but, but everybody, there was like, like 40 people or something and I only knew like, what, three or four of them. Um, so sometimes it's quite scary to, I hope this doesn't come across the wrong way, but sometimes it's quite scary to venture out of the Sims bubble. Cause like the Sims bubble on Twitch is like a safe zone. You know what I mean? And sometimes other places, not the same. <laughs> so <laughs> it's just, it's just different out there. It's scary out there. <laughs> 
<laughs> we stay here, we play our Sims games. <laughs> um, our little, not just Sims, but like our cozy game bubble, you know? But in regards to like friends and stuff too, like our Simmers are very safe. <laughs> um, nice people. I know, that's what I'm saying. Seriously, the other people are kind of scary sometimes, right, Snap? <laughs> you got engaged on Sunday. Lisa, congratulations. That's so exciting. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, well, let me go see if I can find someone to raid. Um, obviously, just to clarify, um, just to clarify, uh, we are not, um, I'm not, I don't mean to say like everywhere else on Twitch is bad. I just mean that like, you know, we're, we have a real safe bubble here that's very comfortable. That's what I mean. <laughs> um, Okay, okay. I think it would be fun. Oh my goodness, actually, this is perfect. Um, my friend Life Simmer is gonna play The Sims 3 today. <laughs> we were playing The Sims 3 today. Um, Life Simmer has, in my opinion, perhaps some of the most iconic Sims Let's Plays of literally all time. Um, if any of you have seen Life Simmer's Generations Let's Play, that is the reason that I am a Sims YouTuber. <laughs> I loved that when I was a kid, obsessed. Uh, but she's playing The Sims 3 today on stream, so we could go over and say hello, yeah? Um, and then tomorrow we'll play some Dreamlight Valley and stuff. But let's go over and say hi, yeah? Well, thank you for hanging out. Um, Snappy has come to say goodbye and also to beg me to go downstairs. Clearly. <laughs> uh, Yummy yeah, and Emma and Twitch and Shmi and Freezy and Snorty, thank you for the subs and bits. Um, and then I will catch you all tomorrow. Yes? Okay. I love you all. I miss you already. Thank you for playing some Sims 3 with me today, and I'll see you later, okay? Okay. Goodbye!